So it's day 344 of Hey, What Are You Doing Today? And uh, I want to talk about something that I, I guess I talk about every now and again, but not too much. And uh, and that's the just that, that, that power of, of having faith, of, of uh, having something bigger than myself to to, to believe in and to, 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 uh, to fall back on and to learn from and to experience and to live for. And um, that, that's that that's that higher energy that higher power that uh, that thing that can't be named that that God that uh, that thing that I guess uh, all religions discuss and talk about but no religion fully comprehends uh, but I believe it's all the same thing at least to me it is um, the reason I mentioned that I, I I was kind of coming down with a cold yesterday. I could, I could, I could feel the beginning of the of the cold, and um, I still got a little bit. But I, oddly enough, I think I've, I've battled my way through it. And uh, but um, but I woke up this morning, and uh, I had that little bit of a sense of a cold, and you know didn't didn't feel very high energy, didn't feel very motivated. So I said. Well, uh, at least do your. This is me talking to myself. At least do your your daily run, and you know, just just do a mile. Just get on there, do a nice easy mile, and uh, check it off for the day, and, and and let it be at that. So I got on on a treadmill. I do most of my. Well, I do almost all my runs on a treadmill. Um, and uh, lately, I've been. I think I've mentioned this a couple times, but I've been listening to. Uh, the uh, Bible on YouTube. Just to, uh, I'll randomly select a book and just listen to it while I'm running. And I, I get it seems to distract the minutes. Um, I get caught up in my thoughts. I get caught up in the words, and uh, and, and the time doesn't seem to. Time is a big battle on a treadmill or any kind of run, probably, but. Um, for me, on a treadmill, it's 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 mastering time is 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 a large portion of of mastering the run. So and it really seems to push me. Really seems to help me. Uh, I get on and then at some point I pick that I'm gonna listen to X amount of chapters. Just randomly it comes to me and then however long those chapters are. And what what's peculiar is it's 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 almost always three miles to a T. It's it's so it's so peculiar. But um anyway. So I'm doing my mile run and I'm listening to the Psalms and I believe I started on Psalm 113 and they're relatively quick little uh, quick little um, chapters you know minute minute and a half Psalms so I got to uh, I decided I would do just because I wanted to just do the the mile I would I would get to Psalm 120 and uh, Psalm 119 came up and I thought well you, you've only got two left they're pretty quick um, pick up the weights and hit an extra mile an hour uh, up the up the speed an extra mile an hour um, so I did that I bumped it up and and, uh, hit, and, I, and I picked up the weights well it turns out Psalm 119 was like 10 minutes <laughs> so it was like perfect timing so, so here I am at this point I'm committed I'm, I'm committed to something higher and greater than myself it's uh and I'm just just being carried through it by this element of you know I can't quit because I've, I've made this commitment. It's a, I can make a commitment to myself and I can quit, but if I make a commitment to that higher power, it makes it really difficult to quit and really difficult to give up. Uh, it's just a, and it's funny how that little psychological thing it just clicks and and now all of a sudden I'm running a mile an hour faster with uh, with two two pound weights and and uh, and you know all of a sudden I've forgotten about how I feel and this and that and it's just a matter of getting it done um, so the, uh, the running being more intense than any of the other runs because at that point then I got to 26 minutes by the time Psalm 120 was done and I was like you know I might as well just finish it out and end up getting three and a half miles and, and a 30 minute time and uh, but it's just such a it, it, to, to sweat out that cold, you know, I think that that was a big part of it. I could have also, I could have, you know, just ran a mile and then I might be here right now and I might not be feeling that energy, that rush that a, a nice, intense early morning run gives me and carries through the day. So, but I just wanted to to mention that to myself 
that uh, even if even if I shouldn't say it that way, but but basically, if faith is for naught, if there's is no higher energy, if there is no higher power, um, it pulled that out of me. It pulled that. So there, there there's the benefit right there. Just the the fact that uh, that I can't quit when I'm when I'm in that frame of mind where I've made a commitment to that higher energy. But there's, you know, there's, 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 there's other things to that too that I, you know, I, I think I talked about before. Just having faith, just, just letting myself go, letting myself fall back, and you know, just knowing that that, that something's there, and that uh, I'm going through something difficult. It's, uh, it's for a reason, and it's, it's something for me to to learn from. And but there's a sense of freedom in in faith. There's a sense of freedom in. Doing just simply doing my best and knowing that uh, having the faith that that everything's going to be fine in the end anyway. So but it's nice to strengthen that relationship too. I was thinking about that today. Most of my life there was there was nothing spiritual, nothing. You know, there's there, there's a, a physical, a, a mental, a, a social level. There may be other levels that I haven't mentioned, but then there's the sp a, a spiritual level of life. And uh, I lived so many years without that spiritual level. I mean, 40 years, give or take, without any kind of relationship with the spiritual side of life. And I tell you what, now it's my favorite side. There's no doubt about it. It's the most most poignant, the most powerful, the uh, the most valid, the most interesting, the uh, all of it. Best feeling too, because uh, I've, I've I've learned of this this centered feeling, this this centered bliss, this natural bliss that I can I can call upon and I can I can bring out. It's such a great state to be in. I'm very grateful that uh, that I stumbled upon it along this journey. So it'd be interesting to see where it takes me throughout the rest of my life. And the goal of maintaining this this internal bliss. Um, not very good at it yet, but at least I'm aware of it. Day 344. Hey, what are you doing today? Thanks.